What's going on guys? This is Jesse with JTS Woodworking. This video is part two of our epoxy coffee table build. In this video, we're gonna be putting our table back together, we're gonna to be finishing it, and we're gonna see what it looks like. So, let's get to it. Hey guys, what's going on? So what I did not show you is I did some half inch round overs on the top and the bottom of the tabletop. And now I am gluing the legs back together. I got the middle brace in between them and then I'm putting glue hole or glue in the holes where the legs go and I'm going to tap those till they bottom out. And then I'm going to put this clamp there to make sure that the middle brace bottoms out, make sure everything's level. That looks good. Now doing the same thing to the other side, putting the glue on and I'm going to tap them in, make sure everything's level, make sure it's clamped tight so that the middle brace stays put. And now I'm uh, flipping it over just to uh, work on the base part, the middle uh, of, the, of the base there. So I'm clamping this again to make sure everything's sitting as it should be. making sure that the top is level all the way around. And now I'm being creepy. Anyways, now I'm putting some glue on the top of those braces so that I can put the, uh, the middle part down there, the bottom part in, I'm not sure what you call it. Now I'm clamping it. I'm clamping it so that when I turn it over like this, I, uh, it'll stay in place and I can drive these screws in. All right, now we can flip it back over and remove the clamps. And it's gonna be time for a little sanding. Now I already sanded it down and I actually buffed out the epoxy inlay there, but I'm just going over it again with some 220. I uh, did everything 220, the legs and everything up to 220. Now I am spraying it or spritzing it with some water and wiping it down to get all the dust off of it. And here I'm using some Danish oil, which I have never used before. Danish oil is a mixture of a penetrating oil, maybe a tongue oil, linseed oil, I think, and uh, some varnish, I believe. So it soaks in the wood like an oil, but it also has some protective qualities to it. Now, I liked it, but I eventually actually added some more some wipe on poly over, over top of it just because I thought, you know, this is a table and it needs some good protection. But overall, I'm happy with how it's uh, looking. All right, guys, so here's the table. Uh, let's see, get a closer look here. Now, it's not like an ultra glossy finish, but that's not what my sister-in-law wanted. This is kind of more of a satin finish. Um, it's hard to tell with this lighting, but this is the table. And see right here, I had a knot and it was all rotten in there. And I filled that with the same color epoxy. Gives it a little more detail. I think it looks nice. I like the roundovers. Some of you might not like the knots, but my sister-in-law does. And that's what I had to work with. So, but yeah, I'm liking it. All right guys, that's it for this video. I'm really excited to give this coffee table back to my sister-in-law. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.